Wow, this Terrence Gangster Williams, aka OG Jiggity, aka with the answer right back, aka Pitchat, aka Terrence V. Williams. Hey yo, check this out, y'all. Now, I will send the information around the time I guess the other guy who really put it out received it as well. I didn't want to touch that, right? I was like, nah, I ain't going to open that. I'm not going to do that to Boosie right hand man, a bodyguard, a homeboy, whatever he is to him, right? I was like, nah, I ain't going to mess with that. But then I seen the guy expose it already. He put it all out. So I thought, right? I thought back to Boosie Vlad interview. Look what Boosie say about me, y'all. He fucks punks. He gets fucked. He's a sick man. Now... My thing is, Boosie never been in prison around me. Don't know nothing about me. But he go he going off with what somebody said about me. And he take it and run with and he said it with conviction, like, yeah, I know for a fact he did this, right? Okay. Then lo and behold, his main man been exposed by the girlfriend or the baby mother. She so put all kinds of stuff out about him. Here's some of the text messages, some of the stuff they've been going through. Now, I didn't want to put the actual pictures with the dude with the tool in his mouth and tool, his, all that other stuff, begging her not to leave him, whatever the case may be. I didn't want to put that. All I know is she also posted him and another man laying. <laughs> he knocking out the park. Yeah, he 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 laying wood. But uh, so I'm like, wow, all this around Boosie. Hmm. Huh. Right. Then, then it's not over. Cause when he had that outburst about the alphabet community, he was on Breakfast Club and he asked him about him having a problem with. And this is what he said. Don't you know? hit gay people. No, I just told he my assistant is gay. Yeah. I can trust a gay person before I trust anybody. Yeah. Yes. Before I trust a shooter, anybody. Now, check this out. He admitted his assistant is like that, right? His main man, a bodyguard, a homeboy that been in video, been all around him, mess around, right? So now, what is the old adage? For those who don't know what addicts mean, it mean like the old saying. If you want to know what type of person that a person is, look at who he hang with. Look at his surroundings. Birds of a feather flock together, right? Hmm. So you te you mean to tell me, Boosie Man Man sending privacy pictures 7 o'clock in the morning to another man and he got the, the herpes. Mm-mm-mm. I almost want to show them pictures. Uh, ooh. Yo. And, um, you know, he admitted that his assistant is part of the alphabetic community. So, he around all this stuff. Um, so, me, I'm saying to myself, self, is Boosie really a DL in the closet, brother, and that little girl been scratching his chest to come out. Like, I, I need to come out. I, I need to let the world know I'm really like this. But I got this gangster persona that, I, that I'm that i putting up. So I, I'm kind of nervous because I know all my thugs, my street people going to be like, they're going to leave, they're going to turn their back on me because I got the streets on one hand. And on another hand, um, Lil Nas X been exposed. Hey, we're going to do an album. He went off. So I guess they had like, you know, how the celebrities do behind the scenes. Uh, in the dressing room encounter, and then he got mad. He said, Don't put that out to the world. You don't do that. So, hmm, it's a lot of allegations. It's a lot of circumstantial evidence. It's about a preponderance of the evidence. Um, Boosie, you're guilty. Now, let me just say that I'm going to record and say this. I'm not saying that I know for a fact um, he having dodged, that he's indulging. I'm not going to put that jacket on him. But it's just too much around him. 
and he uh, out his outbursts have you thinking one thing, but then the people around him have you like, hold up. You know what I'm saying? Because it's in him. It's in his blood. It's in him. You know, that little girl scratching his chest. She real manly. She trying to come out. You know what I'm saying? But, um, man, I don't know. Because I was just like, for this to hit the fan and... This, he been around Boosie, hugged up with Boosie. He's got a lot of stuff going on with Boosie Boo that Boosie don't know. I'm like, nah. No, I ain't buying that. I ain't, how do you say? I ain't jacking out. Nah, I ain't gonna jack out. So, Boosie, come on out, man. I mean, all kind of other stuff coming out. You may as well come on out, man. Come on, come on out the closet. You acting like, a, don't do the, the R. Kelly thing. Come out the closet. Come on out, bro. Because at the end of the day, you're still going to win. Because the thing is, that's, that's who run stuff. And y'all ever notice this? Whenever you disrespect someone that's a part of the alphabets, don't rappers will come right back. I apologize for saying that. I, I was out of line. I don't know, blah, blah, blah. They, oh, they're going to get blackballed. Or oh, they ain't going to be. It. So, yeah, I mean, so anyway it goes, you might get your swagger back. Because, bro, you done lost a lot of stuff now, bro. You've been losing. But you've been taking L's at the L's at the L's, bro. You know how they always say get greater later. So there got to be some light at the end of that tunnel, Boosie. But, bro, you've been taking a lot of L's, bro. A lot of L's. Man. Mm-mm-mm. Man, you've been taking a lot of L's. But anyway, I just was like, Boosie, homie, his main man, been busted, been exposed. You've been exposed, but um, I don't know. Like I say, when oh, yeah, that's what it is. I I, I don't know if I want to do this. Um, Boots of Cellmate reached out to me on Facebook, and he want to do an interview. He he got <laughs> he got some information that he want to share. Um, but I'm telling him like, man. I don't want to do that kind of stuff. I don't want to. Uh, he said he got people that could back his story, could do all this here about Boosie being in the cell with an old man. Um, but I was like, bro, I don't know if I, will, I don't want to do that kind of interview. Yeah, I mean, Boosie, internet ops, but if you don't have no concrete proof, or you can't bring the old man forward, the man who's in the cell with Boosie, whatever y'all caught him in, so whatever you did, you can't get me that. That I don't want to do that because I don't want to be known for, oh man, y'all know every time I come out, I bring my proof. So I don't want to do that. But it's, it's his cellmate hit me on um, Facebook and said he want to come on the show. <sighs> man, mm -mm -mm. I don't want to do that, y'all. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I had to time myself. Yeah, I don't want to do that. But anyway, um. <laughs> Yo, man, it's stuff. Yo, I've been joining though, y'all. Anyway, man, once again, forget that. That's enough of that. Shout out to the Runway Jets. They won a championship, and I was a part of that. That's right. Coach Giggity. That's right. I was a part of that. So, um, y'all won my first championship. Y'all go ahead and applaud me. Thank you. Thank y'all, all that. Yeah. Um, I couldn't get to All right, they, they Both the Runway Jets played at the same time. The younger guys and then the, then the older ones. So, um, my big bro, Courtney, he coached him and um, Coach Ronald. They coached the younger crew. So, somebody else was coaching the older. He coached both of them, but he had to coach one. He had to pick one. So, he coached the younger uh, team, and um, they pulled it off, y'all. Yeah, won the championship. That's right. Runaway Jets. That's right. It's my team. And like I say, I'm working on being a coach. I'm going to try to. You know, get up under Coach Courtney, learn some of the stuff, and then I'm going to go ahead on mash the button, get on out the way. Y'all know how it go. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna, you, know, you know what I'm going to do? See, I'm not going to just kick him all the way off the bend, off the team, right? So what I'm going to do is play it all, be like, okay, you the coach, you the coach, and then you know how you come on as a, an assistant, and then you win the players over, and then before you know the players going to be like, oh, yeah, we want Coach Civilian. We want Coach Civilian. We went to, and I'm going to be like, all right, bro, look, let me just – uh, coach this game, you just stand to the side. And then before you know, I'm like, bro, go ahead and sit on the bench. Then before you know it, when we get ready to pull off, we're going to leave him. 
That's all. I, we don't need them no more. So it's gonna take a little time, y'all. So just be patient with me. Shout out to Coach Courtney, bro. Much love, bro. Um, his son uh, Kobe, he ball too, y'all. He do any number one. That's his jersey number one. Huh? Hmm. Yeah, but he ball, y'all. But anyway, yeah, man, I had a good time, man. But you know, y'all know my motto. Let's say no drill. Let's stop the violence. Put the guns down. Make sure y'all get tested for HIV and AIDS. Y'all need to know y'all status. We got the nonprofit, they need us. We got the Instagram, they need us. Third Ward. Um, you know, we're working on the movie. We're working on that. Um, we got the casting coming up July 29th and 30th. And we got the going back to school giveaway. Yeah, we. I'm out here moving. It's right out here grinding. And don't be surprised if I start toting this. See, I paid for this here. So this is paid for. So I got paper on this here, so y'all can. Hey, we got a weapon. I got I got papers on this, so I got this. It's mine. So don't be surprised if I start toting this. I'm out. Wah.